Hey guys, it's Gary. Welcome back to the channel. And today we're going to be taking a look at, well, I'm having a peaceful evening here right now. And I'm going to probably build one of these dogs here. This is the Lego Creator 3-in-1. Um, I think this is set number 31137, possibly, or that's the manual one. But we're going to be building this poodle here. So inside here, I think this might be the poodle book, but I'm not sure. Um, let's see, it says bag three is a poodle. So, is there the poodle design here? Here we go. There's bag three. So this is the bag right here. Let's get it out. So for me, when I'm working with Legos, if I can, if it's possible, unless they're all the same colors, I like to actually um, sort them all into color piles. So I can kind of see more of what I got. Sometimes color piles, sometimes part piles, but color piles is usually what I'm going with. And for this poodle, it's a white poodle, so most of the parts are white, so I'm going to have a bigger white part pile than anything else. Smaller parts always come in separate bags. There's the eyeballs. Let's just leave the little ones just kind of in their own, their own pile. I guess. Anyhow, start with our first one here. I think this is this. Yeah. And then... We need this piece. And... I don't even know what color that's supposed to be. It looks like brown, but I don't see a brown. That looks like that. Maybe it's a gray. It's probably a gray. Okay, we got that built off camera. I don't know what we're building at this point. Oh, there's our completed look. Hmm. Okay. Looks like there's another piece that looks like that that goes here. And then another piece that looks like that that goes next to it. And then another gray piece. Okay, we're to this now. Looks like one of these pieces go on there. It's hard to do with one hand eye. I, I misplaced my tripod again. I think this piece goes on here. Like that. Now we got some stability. And then
another one of these pieces right here and then two of these pieces go here Then I get some blue pieces. One, two, three. They're gonna go all around the top part. That. So next page. Number number eleven already. We're cruising through. I need two more of these. One, two that are gonna go up like this again. Right in the center. Another one of those pieces, another blue. This piece is going to go here. And this one's going to go in the center. And then we have two more of those holy pieces. There we go. I'm not sure what this is supposed to be so far. It'll come together eventually. And then it looks like we have some a gray piece that goes on here and then that piece. So we'll do those off camera. That. I was searching a little bit for one that was gray, but it looks like that one was supposed to be white. So we're on to instruction number 15, which looks like there's another white plank that goes on here. Or I would say a 2x8. Look at that. And then two more white pieces. These are smaller. This one, and this one, are going to go in the center, like that, and number 17, we'll get those three pieces and come right back. Okay, we got that on, I'm still not exactly sure what this is. I wonder if this is supposed to be the tail, but what is the blue part about? Not sure what's going on with those blue, but it looks like we got some texture on here with the uh, the holy dots. I don't really know what to call them. There's an actual term for all these different pieces. I just don't know them very well because I'm not a frequenter. Here's one of these, one of these, and then we need two, two cheese wedge pieces of the same colors to add those on. And it looks like. We're also doing the other side, so let's get two more in each of the other colors. And be right back. We're going to make it look like that. So we just smoothed out the blues. I don't know what this is. I still don't understand this. What's going on, but I guess I'll figure it. Like I said, we'll be figuring it out later. And here it's times two, so we're going to get two of these. Two of these. Looks like we're working on the legs right now. Work on that and be right back. There's legs, I guess. That's what's going off them so far. We're gonna go on to 24. Looks like we're gonna add some more stuff here. So we're gonna we're gonna bring you up to that part. Looks like we're gonna add toes and stuff too. So I clipped them in. There's that side of legs. We'll have a little bit of articulation. And now we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing for the other side. Starting here. Okay, we now have a standing body. I'm assuming. Go ahead. Let's go on to our next step here. Um, yeah, we're working on the head. I'm going to come right back and I will be right back and show you right 
and say the completed product is what we're supposed to get here. Here is our final result. We got our blue-eyed poodle. He doesn't have an open mouth, but he does have an articulated neck. I've seen better, but we have an articulated neck. Articulated ears that can go up and down. Those are the joints. And then our tail can go up and down. I think he's wearing some kind of, I don't know what that is, a harness or a sweater. Um, articulated legs and feet. So we can make him sit and stand. Stretch out here. And then we also have a, a faux retractable leash here. It doesn't retract, but um, you can take him for walks. And of course we have a little accessory here, a little, a little brush, so we can brush him out a little bit. Brush out our poodle. I'm not sure what I'm going to name him yet, but he's definitely going to go. He's definitely got a spot. He's going to be somewhere in our lives. And stay tuned for other videos. We might actually, I might show you. I, I built him already off, off camera, and I think we already built him. But there are other dogs in this series to build. And I think there's like a hound or something, but um, we will. If you like this video, Give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Here's our extra parts. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Ruff, ruff.